using classes classes have been used since the beginning of uh, this video series however until now only the most rudimentary form of class has been shown so the classes created in preceding chap preceding chapters or our series primarily exist simply to encapsulate the main method which has been used to demonstrate the basics of java syntax as you will see classes are substantially more powerful than the limited ones presented so far perhaps the most important thing to understand about a class is that it defines a new data type once defined this new type can be used to create objects of that type so thus the definition of class is here class is a template for an object and an object is an instance of a class because an object is an instance of a class you will often see two words object and instance interchangeably a simplified general form of a class definition is shown here class class name type of instance variable 1 one and type of instance variable 2 and has the statements and and the type of instance variable n and in uh, the for, uh, previous and this slide both includes only a one program it is so type method name one and parameter list and body of method and type method two and parameter list then body of method type method n and parameter list and body of method so this is the format of our new programs a simple class what contains it class and has a box is a object and these are all double width and these are all just attributes so let's go to program part programming part so here is a program that uses a box class and call this file box demo so let's do this program and i am copying this this portion because it, this is a simple box program class object class uh, object sorry object is a box here and we will do here first we will uh, paste this object and then this class declares an object of type box then assign the value to my box instance variable and calculate the volume of box we are going to do in this program these are, are i already written uh, wrote in the these comments first so let's start here then our new after that i will write here class and our class is here box demo i already open so our main class is here and this is this the object oriented programming so public static void main so So we have to avoid the spelling mistakes because it it will decrease the chances of error. So here is box. We have to be careful while writing where we can use small and where we can use capital letter. New. So here we are declaring the object with the new. then double double is a data type and volume
double volume then assigning the values to by my box instance variable so now i am assigning the values so here is my box width i am taking here 10 then my box height this is equals to 20 then my box depth is equals to 15 so we initialize this Now compute the volume of box. So for computing the volume of box, we have to write a formula. So what is the formula here? My I will multiply three of them. So let's copy from here and paste it here. Now our question is now going to complete, so I'm putting it there. Depth. So now we have to write a print statement here. What is the error we are showing? Volume my box dot width. We have to give us some space for them. my box width height and depth so system dot out print ln dot out dot print ln so here we write volume is plus so semicolon now everything is right here so this is all a class first program so this program is uh, the NetBeans version is uh, very higher version so it is not supporting this program so we can't run this program but it is not showing any error in here these red lines are for a spelling mistake but there is no spelling mistake here so let's do another program and I'm saving this program and making a new program and this is uh, this program declares the two box objects so let's go to another program and the program name is here box demo 2 so let's go to project java class
box demo 2. So here we have two objects. So first write here box then double so we are doing we are writing the same thing so why don't we copy from here and type it there paste it so all this is here so class box demo so this is our main class so I am writing here public static void main string args so here is our main purposes I will write in comments key what we are going to do in this program first assign values to my box 1 assign values to my box 1's instance variable instance variables and second here we assign different values to box 2 assign different values to box 2 to my box 2 third is compute value of first box then compute value of first box then we complete compute value of second box I am pasting it here and writing here second box, second box. So in last we have to print system dot print the statement. So we will do it later. So let's write it here. So box then my. my box 1 is equals to new and box okay I think now everything is clear from this second question uh, here is box and my box 2 then new box is here then double here is a double data type for volume now instance variables values to my box instance variable then so let's assign different values so my box width height and depth so let's write it from here 
because we have to do the same thing why we can repeat again so let's copy it and paste it here so same is with the second one we have to only change the values So here is my box and our box is 1 so I will write here 1 and here is 2 so keep it in the line. So let's change the values because in the first box is values as in okay but we have to change give a different value to box 2 so I am taking here 3 and height is 6 and depth 9 so let's take a formula So I'm taking a formula here from here because everything will be same. So why we are doing double work, do a smart work and so let's write it here. And same is here. We have to change only the numbers. One. I advise you to if you are learning so type everything I am only doing to save your time so everything is correct now so let's write here this one is extra so now our program is completely correct so let's save this but it's not supporting this version of NetBeans so I don't know it will run or not so I'm better to I'm trying let's do it saving there's no option for saving let's see Let's go to the projects and box 2. So let's run this program. So it's not showing the output because it is not supporting let's try one more time because it's not showing any error so I'm hoping that it will run Actually, there is a Mavin which is used for testing. Let's see the line 15 is blank. So this is this program is correct. So in this program, what you learned here 
how to assign the values to the object and if there are two objects how to assign them and compute the value and there is it is so i have to change this so for declaring the object as i just explained when you create a class you are creating a new data type so here is a new data type and you can use this type to declare a object of that class half obtaining object of a class is a two step process first you must declare a variable of of the class type this variable does not define an object instead it is simply a variable that can refer to an object second you must acquire an actual physical copy of the object and assign it to the that variable you can do this using the new operator so the new operator dynamically allocates that is allocates at run time so memory for an object returns a reference to it so this reference is more or less the address in memory of the object allocated by new so this reference is then stored in the variable so thus in java all class object must be dynamically allocated so let's look at the details of the procedure in the proce proceeding uh, program a line similar to the box is used to declare an object is box and my box so this statement combines the two steps so first the declares a uh, declare a reference object then this so we will see this in our next program so assigning object to reference variables like here is width depth height depth so these are reference variables so now in our next program there is a introduction of methods as you see in our uh, ppt so here is uh, type of method 1 method 2 so we will do this in our next program so let's take a one more example of adding a method to the box class then us, then after that we are doing a returning a value then adding a method that take parameters then parameterized method then constructors so let's see what topics we cover in this video so let's start the program of adding a method to the box class so i am taking here name is i want to do this i think in our previous program so let's see we can do it here because everything we have to write again so this program includes a method inside the box class so inside the box cl class we have to write a method to display the volume of a box box is here so we are saving this program and just in it in over and do it in this program i am deleting everything from here and for adding the method we have to change few things not whole program so it will save your time and easier to understand
so the program declares two box objects so here this program includes a method inside the box class inside the box class so it's the then class box with little reveal same then display the volume of a box so it's right here what we are doing display the volume of a box how we can display it by using system dot println so let's write here void volume void volume and then so here we have to write a system and println so i am copying it from here Here. So, so in first volume is the it will print the volume. In second one, we have to show the width, height, and depth. So here we write here width, height, and depth. Width, height, then depth. Width, height, and depth. So system dot print all this program is now correct. So okay. Then here is pub class demo three. Class demo three, but our program name is demo. So I will delete, remove this demo two. So here is box demo. And public static one is correct. So box one and two. One and two. new box it's correct then assign value to method instance variable because we already displayed a volume there don't need to write here then this already done assign instance value and assign different values to my box to this is correct so display volume of first box i have to write here display volume of first box then display volume of second box so instead of compute i will write here display volume of first box display volume here is also volume of first and second box so we have to delete all this and my box dot volume i would write only my box dot volume here like a function then here is we have to remove all this and same we are doing here also 
because we are displaying in oh what it is I didn't write here so oh, oh. so the program is complete now then I'm removing this public so let's see so void volume 